If you live in northern Hamilton County, you may notice this low flying hexagon over the area for the next several days. Geophysicists with Intera say they've pinned where sources of water are over the years, but are unsure of the specific channels and pathways. That's through boreholes, which are, you know, just points on the map, and you kind of connect the dots of those points and come up with a conceptual idea of what the geology and the aquifers might look like. Now they're filling in the blanks to get a better idea of what's going on beneath the surface. Aqua Geo Frameworks are helping to conduct an aerial survey of the area, something they say is much more efficient. This system, the way it's configured, we're seeing about, oh, five to 700 feet into the earth where the critical zone we're looking at is really within the first 300 feet. Geologists say the SkyTem sends out electromagnetic pulses into the earth so they can get thousands of readings underground. Sands and gravels are electrically resistive. That's the overlap. Where we see resistive materials is where we see the aquifer materials in the earth. Indiana American Water says they are focusing specifically on Hamilton County due to the growth in the area. We have the service for today, but what we're really looking forward is uh, the next 20 to 30 years out for water. Once the data is collected, Indiana American Water hopes to set up test wells to determine the management of their water resources. And when we identify those, we work with officials to map out a longer strategy. The flyover should be wrapped up within two to eight days. Reporting in Sheridan, Claire Curry, CBS 4 News.